Whoa, we do not want to mess with these guys. Holy crap. I'm the king of you, Bowden. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't start. What are they doing there? It's like they're having an orgy. And here we go. Here is a rotten Bishin guard. Excellent. Hey guys, and welcome back to more ground. Today we're going to be checking out the anthill. So there's a couple of updates which are coming up and people are talking about like the water update which I'm really excited to look forward to because we get new gear, we get like scuba gear, we get new enemies in the water in the pond but we also apparently already have a set of armor in this game which is the best set of armor you can get or the highest defense armor but you can't craft it yet but you, to find the pieces we have to venture into the until. Now the until is absolutely is stuffed with soldier ants and all that and they're very dangerous they will attack you on sight but apparently again and thanks for leaving that in the comments a full set of ant armor will actually help you with that and that's because they see you as an ant and they won't attack you which is really weird which is actually pretty cool i like the idea of that um because i was going to craft a full set of ladybug armor and i already had some ladybug armor crafted i have the chest on and i was going to craft the rest because that's the best armor you can obviously get and um i thought okay we wear that and then i was reading the comments i said no no where the ant armor go in the until so we're gonna try that out and that's where we apparently find some really cool stuff so let's have a look there's another thing i want to craft and that's a tier 2 hammer so i was very lucky i wasn't planning on crafting the tier 2 hammer for a while because it needs stink book parts and the stink book are just so hard to fight because they have this poison cloud and you need stink book parts I think to craft the gas mask which is gonna help you against it so it's kind of one of those things where you need the parts to fight the bugs but without the parts the bugs are very hard to fight now they do take quite a beating but you can avoid them very easily but it's that poison cloud that will get you however I was very lucky. I was adventuring out over there and ladybugs don't like stink books. And there was a ladybug fighting a stink book and just as the ladybug died, the stink book had literally no health left, like very tiny. I was able to give it a one head and it, that's it, it was dead. So um, I was lucky and it dropped literally four parts, which is exactly what we need for the hammer. So if we look at the insect hammer, we need four berry leather and one boiling gland. I hope I have the boiling gland available as well because we killed a lot of those guys. They are boiling gland. That is confusing. It says exploding gland, but it's a boiling gland. So anyway, so let's see where the leather is. We have four leather here. There we go. So let's make that hammer. And the hammer we need to be able to get the materials to make the tier three weapon. That's the only tier three weapon in the game that will be the best weapon that we can get. And I want to get that before we go to the Antil. So let's craft this. There we go. This is the um, insect hammer. So we don't need this hammer anymore. So this hammer here will be it. There we go. And we can put the other hammer into our box here. We don't no longer need it. There we go. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, so we make our way first to the area where we need to get the resources from for the tier three club. Then we're gonna come back and craft it because that will be the weapon we're gonna need for the rest of the game, pretty much until they add something new. And then we're gonna head over to the Antil. So this is gonna be really exciting because I can't wait to actually see how much damage that weapon does. Also, you can see all the blueprints here. I'm trying to work a little bit of a base, so um, yeah. But dandelions, we need to wait for them to respawn. And they respawn here because I don't know actually how the respawn timer works. If the respawn timer is based on including offline time, because that seems to be the case. Sometimes I log back in, there's nothing respawn. And then I log back in and loads is respawn. But for some reason, um, you have to delete the stem. Sorry, just to quickly talk about the respawn, yeah? You have to remove the stem. If you don't remove the stem, uh, the, the last part, nothing regrows. So if I basically cut all this grass down and I leave the stem the the bottom part and say i take in the middle of all these one part bottom part out only the one part regrows the others don't so which is really really weird so they need the bottom stem removed but when i go over here to the other side where we had loads and loads of dandelions not dandelions the the wheat oh that respond as well oh wow so an update must have reset all the tech points they're not regrowing here. The wheat, I removed all the stems, is not regrowing. Oh. 
Don't be shouting at me. Okay. So, yeah, it's a bit um, worrying that the wheat doesn't regrow or respawn because we're going to have to do huge trips now to go to different areas to get ourselves more stems that we need to finish our base. So, yeah, but I heard we're also going to have a taming update coming in soon, hopefully soon, because that means if... I didn't read anything about it that we hopefully can travel long distances with ladybugs or something and put a lot of stamps on them and then come back and build huge bases. So I have some stamps here, but I'm still, I'm collecting and I'm grinding, so it will take some time. So just walk back to our initial base location and right over there, you can see the white. This is where the Tic Tac box is. And the Tic Tac box, remember when we tried to, look, stamps, cut, not regrown, but for some reason wheat doesn't regrow. So if we go back to the Tic Tac box, there is um, okay, let's pick up some mushrooms. There is um, Tic Tacs in it, or mint in it, sorry, mint in it, and we need a tier two hammer for that to destroy them. Let's go and smack them. We get a mint, a mint chunk, and you can see we get a mint mallet recipe. Okay, I made it inside. Oh, you have to go in a very specific angle. So let's keep getting mint chunks, all of them. And as far as I know, they don't respawn. And they're the only resource for mint chunks you can get. They take four hits, I think. There we go. Eight mint chunks. Mint chunks. Or oh, 13, 14, 15. So it's four each time. And the last ones. Here we go. So you get 20 mint chunks. Now, as they're not respawn, and this is a finite resource, um, let's see what we need it for. So we have 20 here. And the new item we can craft is the mint mallet. And the mint mallet takes 5 mint chunks, 9 spider silks, and 8 flower petals. Which is all easy to get, except for the mint chunks, because you need a level 2. Uh, you need an insect hammer for that. And the mint mallet is... A giant hammer crafted from a chunk of ice caps, breath mints, deals pr uh, patented mouth down <laughs> fresh damage on the head. Look at the maximum stone, but look at the damage and compare that to the ant club. That is insane. That's nearly double the damage. That is absolutely insane. I, I, I love it. And the speed of it is exactly the same. So we don't even have a penalty on speed. So let's get back out of here all the way to the corner i found that going all the way going half in like this and then moving all the way into the corner will get you in and out very easily there you go but you have to look kind of like a sidestep there you go ah oh, come on now i'm stuck <laughs> that's a bit tricky so let's go back and craft that mint mallet unless we do have i oh, know i have the resources in my base so let's go home first oh there's the yeah all these research points respawn that is awesome that is so cool all right with the mint the spider silk and the flower petals. Let's go craft that hammer. There we go. Beautiful. And that is our biggest weapon we can craft. So this is our only and first tier three weapon. Let's um, put that in to replace our current club. And we're going to equip that in here. Very good. And that is the only weapon we will ever need. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a bit slow, but it hits. It hits hard. So let's put all this in here as a backup and uh, test it out before it gets dark, I would say. And then we also need to make a couple of torches, actually, um, because we're going to go into an anthill, which is going to be dark. So let's have a quick look. But we need to make torches here again. Okay, we need sprigs, sap. I have all that. Yeah, sure. We, we have loads of that. Okay, let's try out... The new weapon. I don't want to get damage Bam. on my... The light. I don't want to get damage. Oh, can we not have the light and the mallet? No. Ooh, it is a proper 200 mallet. But there is a stink book. Not a stink book. There is one of those beetles down here somewhere. So let's see if we can fight it. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's see. Do you stink bug? There we go. Okay. There we go. 
there. That was easy. And the only reason I got hit was because I didn't pay attention to my stamina. So if I would have paid attention with stamina and backed up a little bit to let a refresh, I actually wouldn't have gotten hit. So you could see the amount of health per hit that it takes off is just absolutely insane. Yeah, I was also curious to see how these um, clay foundations look. And because we have clay, and I find probably clay to collect easier than stem. Because clay, you just travel to a point, get all the clay resources, and you can carry back stacks of it. Like, you can carry back at least, um, well, it's 10 per stack. So if you have most of this empty, you can carry back easily... 10, 20, 30, what is that, 3, 6, at least 80, if not even 120. So you can carry back for at least, I would say, 30, 30 parts or 30 uh, blocks you can carry back resources. With stems, you just can't do that. So let's have a quick look and see what that looks like. Where is our clay? I think it's in here, there. So... We have two foundations, so that's eight. Let's have a look. Safety first. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, that is nice. And what does the wall look like? So if we put a wall up here with clay. Oh, we can't. It's only foundations. So we still need the stems for the walls. But at least the foundation is so easily done now. Oh, that is so brilliant. And... We can't make the triangle foundation, so, ah, oh, that's a pity. So I hope they add that, um, or that uh, the robot is selling them, because it would be really, really good. So ramps obviously are not the same, but, you know, these foundations, the straight ones, to have them here is absolutely fantastic. All right, let's go. I made six torches. I went um, and hunt down some dry grass. I actually ventured a really far out by accident. And I went right into this area here, all the way to the edge. I just, in the dark, it was very hard to see what was dry grass. And I never actually looked at the grass to see the tooltips. And I ended up in stink bomb country. Luckily, I was able just to run through and ignore them all. That was scary as balls. It was, it was so dark, you could barely see anything. So it wouldn't, actually, I don't want to pick up these guys now. Because if I pick them up now, I will have uh, inventory full. Which means I can't pick up anything I find inside. So this is the anthill that we're going to go in. And if we go in without the ant armor, so if I go and take the helmet off, for example. If I go in here now, let's see what's sneaking around here. Any soldier ant will attack me. So let's test that out. So here we go. The soldier ants are actually the ones in here. Oh, is that quartz? Yes. There you go. There's a soldier under thing. Let me see. Yeah. Immediately attack us. Now, I don't know if it resets mid attack. So let's run out. Quickly change our helmet. And she stopped attacking. Oh no, she didn't. I think. Oh, once they attack, they attack. Holy balls. Okay. Oh, there we go. Three hits, and she's out for the count. So, yeah, we're going to be able to defeat them very, very quickly. All right, because I'm assu what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to destroy as many as I can. But let's see what happens if first. I use my axe as a weapon. It's very strong as well. The axe is very strong. Oh, let's pick up these guys, because the slime mold stalks, we use them for a few things as well. And let's also... This is actually called a tier 3 hammer, I think. See how quickly that was? See that is insane. Around here. Let's pick up some quartiles because we need that to repair our tools. Okay. Now, the, she shouldn't attack me. No, but I can attack it. So, there you go. Still possible to beat them, which is great. Now, we're going to get a lot of quartites here at another point. But it's very good for quartites, uh, quartz. Let's call it quartz. For quartz mining, you know, undisturbed. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Okay, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. There we go. Let's go and check. Wow. 
Wow, there's so much quartz in here. I don't know why I call it quartites. It is a set, uh, in it, and I just keep calling it quartites. Dyslexia. Hello. Dyslexia lässt grüßen. Um, what do we have here? Oh, this is just another way to get to... Oh, okay. Look at that. It's a water area. Okay, let's go in there and see what happens. Can we swim into that? Oh, look at that. Whoa, yes. That is amazing. I like the way that our light, our torch works on the water. I have no idea where I am, but that's okay. <laughs> Whoa, we do not want to mess with these guys. Holy crap. I'm the king of you. Bow down. Don't, 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 don't start. What are they doing there? It's like they're having an orgy. And here we go. Here is a rotten bishin god. Excellent. So this is um, sprint distance is very good. The B is obviously very, very focused on speed. Yeah. And I think we unlock the recipe as we pick it up. No, we don't. Do we have to? Let me see. No, we don't have to research it either. But it's tier two armor, and I think it's the first tier tier two armor. I'm not. I don't. I think lady books are still tier one. So they all, if I would attack one of them now, they all would have a go at me. Oh, what is, it? what is that? Let's have a look there in a second. Now, I don't know where the locations exactly are, but there can't be that many places. Where are we actually in the until? Look at this. We went in here and we're already over here. I wonder if these lines are the tunnels. I don't know. It would be great if there would be like an underground map that you could access. Oh, yes, more research. Oh, love it. That's a thousand research we got just from that. So let's keep an eye out for... Oh, something up here. There we go. So th this is based on um, commons as well, where people said, oh, you have to look out for, you know, like a little cliff thing, like inside the tunnel. So we have two pieces now. There we go. Very good. I like it. And the third piece comes from... The, the reason I have this is, this is what I need to repair this type of armor. What do we need to repair this type of armor? Oh, we don't even have that. No. Oh, a, a, a nut. Oh, I need... Oh, I don't want to accidentally hit any of the ants, so we're going to have to wait here patiently. Okay. Where's the nut pieces? Oh, they already scooped them up. That's okay, that's okay. All right, we're gonna take some more of those mod stocks. What do we actually need them for? Let me see, luckily we can look at the resource tab and just check out the hand eggs. Oh my God, a bratwurst. Oh, a bratwurst. <laughs> it's like a bratwurst? We can, we can make food? Okay, let's see, where's the... Um, Mode stock. Torches and scones. Oh yeah, this is the ones where we can make light in our base. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want to pick up as many as possible from them. Okay. Oh, look at that! More research. There's another piece in here, maybe. This looks absolutely insane. They did a really good job in the underground until. Underground design must be so tricky as well. Okay, let's go back and check out that tunnel, that hole in the ground. And see what's in there. very exciting i'm trying not to edit any of this uh, exploring and underground out here because this is just beautiful oh no 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 no! we're coming back out i took a wrong turn okay, so we went in here at least well, i bet you now when i want to find the exit i'm not gonna bloody find it so let's go straight through here and we have to wait for that red fluff there we go there we go there's the red fluff hang on a second oh it was over here i think Ah, this is disgusting. 
Here's the hole. Okay. Step down into the hole. Ooh, what is that? <gasps> a burger chip! Oh, that is amazing. And what is this? Yes! That is beautiful. This is the final piece of the armor. Yes! Look at this. So, we have Rotten Bee shoulders, Rotten Bee face, a mask, and Rotten Bee shin guys. That is amazing. All right, let's check out the armor. We have a full set of B armor now. Looking at that. Nice. I love the helmet. I love the way that looks. And let's have a look at... What is action? What's that? Oh, okay. Throb stack. No, no, no. We don't want to drop. Can we repair it? No, we can't. We don't have anything to, um, to repair it with. But that gives us a mysterious effect. Okay. It seems I might be using stamina lesser or slower. Let me see. So if I put this back on... I think I'm using more stamina and less stamina with this because sprint distance goes up, which wouldn't make sense. But what is the mysterious effect? Yeah, maybe it's just my imagination. Okay, I'm not sure what the mysterious effect is or if there is even one or if it's just what they say right now. Actually, let's turn off our lamps. We don't need them during the day. There we go. Beautiful. And um, let's go and um, give our chip to Burgle. So we have a data chip here, um, an Anthill Burgle chip. It contains a research tech chipset. And we have 3,500 research points. So we also have to go over and get some more quests because we need to get more points because some of the stuff we unlock is like 5,000. And I would like to get a, to unlock it. Um, I also started working away on this. I got a little, there's an, um, a water area just here with loads of clay. Just have to be careful around there. But um, get all the clay there and we can finish off these foundations. Now the triangular foundations, we have to use um, the stems and the the grass we just don't have a choice but i think it's really really cool that we have foundations that we can just build and they're done so we don't need to put flooring on top of it can you actually put flooring on top of it if you would want to or you could it, it would just look really weird that is really strange you actually can put flooring on it so it's not considered okay let me see what that even looks like just want to check that out quickly there we go. Yeah, that looks weird. So I don't think it's needed. Um, can we recycle it? Is that the floor? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I was worried there a little bit. I'm going to take everything apart. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's a bit weird that... Um, the flooring doesn't come fully out. So if they should probably fix that to make sure the flooring comes out. Um, above it, but it looks really nice. I like it. Anyway, let's go and get um, over to Burgle and um, Hand in our chip. Oh my lord. This is the first time I've seen this in ages. Let's go and get it Don't disappear on me. Yes. Oh Thank you crop. This is what we need. We needed crop. This is amazing. We still have to analyze it as well This is what I needed grub and grub height. Oh my lord. It was so badly needed Let's talk to Burgle and let's see what he has after we give him the chip. So I just gave him the chip and um, that enabled some recipes. I'm not sure exactly actually which recipes it unlocked. It doesn't really say. It just said like um, insert a chip and then it says until um, whatever chip. But um, eye patch upgrade. An, eye, an upgrade to the eye patch that allows you to reduce the stamina cost for attacks. Oh, that is awesome. Because I really love that eye patch um, for the extra attack power. And then we have an upgrade for the scab scanner module that allows it to detect any nearby scabs that are not currently attached to a human host. Okay, that's that would be really good for finding out, um, get more skins. I think that's all they'd really give you. And then fiber bandage, canteen upgrade. That's a bit steep. A canteen upgrade for 5,000. I mean, we don't get... Um, research thrown after uh, at, at, at each other like you know the research is just there once and then you have to do quests and the quests give you like a hundred each or something so um, I definitely want to save up for the 5,000 here for the extra sturdy walls and palisade because 
we're going to be focusing a lot more on um okay what do you have for me lawn mites okay i take it that gives me 200 and one as you see we get only like 300 or something per quest set and then we have to wait a whole another day before we get new quests so that's a bit i don't know we already finished that anyway so we got 200 right now but we, we don't have 5,000 yet all right okay we have to kill lawn mites and what is the other thing the bombardier beetle i think we already killed it but we didn't have the quest on us anyway so yeah we're gonna be focusing more on building and quests as we do them and one thing i want to build which is going to be a big job is i want to build a bridge over to this place here because i'm so tired of avoiding the spiders and the spiders are not the big deal to fight what is really annoying here on this oak tree is you have wolf spiders literally caught in a tree and you can't see them yeah you see them when they hit you through the tree trunk yeah they're caught in the tree trunk and you just see the legs all of a sudden as they hit you and that's it so the alarm goes off saying like you know you're in combat and boom you're dead and it's like okay so we're gonna have to make ladybug armor as well and because i think that is the highest defense armor of armor that we can repair because the b armor we can't actually repair so ooh, let me do a save and um yeah so otherwise i'm gonna leave this episode here it will be a lot more building and anything you guys want me to check out let me know in the comments i definitely will try to check it out i don't think they have an experimental branch um i would love to for them to be starting an experimental branch where we could look at upcoming updates where they're currently working on things um, that would be really awesome if the devs could do that um, it would give us some chances you know to to look at things early as they're still in development we well early access is in development but you know what i mean anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys again in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming.